Network 10. You were born in Melbourne on the 1st of August 1964 and again in Sydney on the 5th of April 1965. Channel O is now part of the life of Melbourne and the past that has made us. You have a love child of Sir Reginald Ansett who fosters in you your passion for sport and the Menzies government which sees you as a way to generate more local content. Lots of birds on the show tonight. In your early years, you're not adverse to a little risk either. God only knows what you were smoking. The 70s marked the start of your obsession with two tiny sisters from Camberwell High. But it was that first glimpse of the female form that really blows the house down. Then, when you're a teenager, it's all about experimenting. Which does lead to prison and when you take the occasional licking. By the 80s, awkward dating and bad hair is all the go. I've seen you on the television. And you certainly embrace our ethnic diversity. A couple of days. <laughs> Your uncanny habit of recognising talent when you see it cements you as the entertainment network and you advance the careers of stars who would go on to become some of the biggest names in the world. It shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody. During the 90s, as you approach 30, you titillate us in ever more bold and beautiful ways. Would this be a first that someone has breastfed live on television? Yep. The naughties find you growing a lot more comfortable with your body. A little too comfortable. Guys, <laughs> Sebastian. By your 40s, you discover the joys of Christian rock, gorging yourself, oh, <laughs> and staying up late for that classy lady. Welcome to 10's Late News. As you approach middle age, you still rely on your creativity and innovation. Whatever. <laughs> sure, the ratings could have been better, and there was the odd bingle. Oh, Jesus. Like they say, 50 is the new 40. Network 10, this is your birthday. Happy 50th.